Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, He's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. It's the most fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 264 pounds. Snake And now we producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong. The Apex! All right, you can lose the locker room. Don't you do my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. Truly elite strikers here. We sat down with them on Thursday and asked them, any thoughts of taking this fight to the ground? They want to strike. Today. They want to strike. That's what got them to the show. That is the path that they are normally on. And tonight they get someone that allows them to fight in their comfort zone. They don't have to worry about defending takedowns. All they have to worry about is who can rely on their knowledge in the striking to carry them to victory. We talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Punch is blocked. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Clean left punch followed by the right. He engages in a single collar tie here. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Kick. Counters with the straight right. Big kick lands. 
Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, yeah, right here. These guys throwing early. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Push kick there to the body. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Real nice body kick land. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may start to drop the hands to block the uppercut. So look for him to throw something else now up top. Right hand punch the clinch. Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. Nice defense there, huge block. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Big ball from Clutch Land. Now he gets back to range. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, nice job to land the knee upstairs there. That's going to leave a mark. And again, we talk about the size advantage. He certainly put it to good use there. Spinning back fist. And they separate. Big kick land. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Single collar tie here. Nice punch, Lance. He's able to slip the left there. Oh! Big elbow there. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Good punch, Lance. You cannot take too many of these big elbows from the clinch. And just misses with that big right hand. Get out of there. That punch, no good. He blocks the punch. Lands the right hand. Just out of range with that strike. And there comes the separation now. That right hand landed. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. All right, so a crowd-pleasing five minutes in the books. DC, take us through some of the highlights. Punch after punch landed right on his opponent's face. Did a great job of finding his target, locking in, and then getting, the, getting his fist to the target in that round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't hit us. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner, right. because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Ooh, big shot lands. Circling to his right. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat 
This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Strong elbow there. Well, he misses with the left punch there. How good is that right hand? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Down defensively, blocks the shot. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. All collar tie. And they separate. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Punch coming, it's blocked. Just missing on the uppercut there. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Nice punch there. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. It's hard to get out of. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. That's a big strike right there. Slips to avoid the right. 60 seconds. Finish job. Finish job. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he hasn't been a world beater, but defensively, he's been strong tonight. And that has to cause frustration for the opponent. Not being able to hit a guy that you want to really put away. But that's a testament to the head movement and the activity and the awareness of this fighter. What a punch. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming. Man, well. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Left hand punch from the clinch. Seconds winding down in round two. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Right hand lands flush. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, that horn marks the end of the round. There was a lot to like really on both sides, but particularly that Superman punch, an absolute thing of beauty. Beautiful attack. Her ability to let loose in the octagon is truly a sight to behold. Not many people are willing to try something so risky. All right, all right, settle down. Listen up, listen up. You're not giving up on the table. Okay? We just gotta settle. 
All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's played out. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of the oh. oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, no! Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Beautiful body kick. Lands a switch knee. continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Out of range with that one. There's no give on that leg kick. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Right. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Big knee to the body. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Nice move and punch. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet. Oh! Can't take many of those, you better check. Oh, it looked like that left hand found the target. Oh, man. potentially a critical takedown here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now, he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head, or he's going to get blasted. Straight punch lands. A oh, little single collar tie there. And they separate. Side. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, nice elbows by him now. Insane to see a guy throw more than one elbow at a time, but why not? They're landing. Unable to land with that punch. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Doubling up on the jab. Oh! Huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves it. Oh! oh He's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arm. His arms are free to punch. He's 
collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get ground upon in the back, or you're going to give your back up, where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot of highlights from which to choose, but his success in that round certainly rooted in his offensive takedown game. And that's what he does, right? He's a grinder. He's the type of guy that wants to get a hold of you, drag you to the floor. It doesn't bother him that much if you get back to your feet. He just wants to continue to make you work the entire time because he understands this type of grind most guys can't keep up with. Are you ready? You ready? Strong defense there to block the shot. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Big punch land. Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, spinning back fist out of nowhere. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. Oh, that's a good right hand. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to hold him. Yep, absolutely. Go. All right, feet on the hips here. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Back to the feet now. Whoa! <laughs> Try to oh! And just like that, the fight is over. It's over. It's over. <laughs> Not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. So there he is after a monumental knockout turned in here tonight. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliana has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 44 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout, the eight. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and Candidly knocking another man out there. Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was 